examination of the ear. First, we should check the external ear, the auricle, or other words called pinna. We should check the anterior surface and should look for any uh, obvious uh, malformations, infections or inflammatory processes, such as eczema, also some for trauma or benign or malignant uh, lesions on the uh, pinna. After we check the anterior surface, we should pull the auricle forward and check the posterior surface of the auricle and the mastoid region. Also, we should check for uh, lesions here, such as an ateroma, for example, or other uh, type of infections. Um, in order to uh, look into the ear canal, we should pull the pinna upwards and backwards in order to straighten the curvature of the uh, ear canal. In children, uh, the lobus should be pulled down and anterior as the curvature differs from adults. Um, to check the um, orifice of the external ear canal is important as uh, lesions can take place there to cause, for example, infections such as folliculitis. To check the deeper part of the ear canal, we should use an ear funnel, either plastic ones or metals. It comes in different sizes. According to the size of the ear canal, we should choose the appropriate one. We should hold the rim of the funnel with our index finger and thumb and pulling the ear canal and the tragus forward and pulling the uh, auricle up and back, we should check the uh, ear canal. Uh, the funnel will straighten the uh, ear canal so we can examine the deeper part of the uh, um, external ear. And also we should check the tympanic membrane. We shouldn't introduce the, the funnel too deep as it can cause pain for the patient. In order to have even a better visualization, we should tilt slightly the patient's head towards the opposite shoulder. And by doing this, we will be able to check and visualize the tympanic membrane and its structures, such as the light reflex or the lateral process of the malleus with the umbo, or check for different pathologic uh, lesions in the ear canal or on the tympanic membrane. After we finished with one of the ear, we should continue with the other side. We also should check the anterior surface of the ear canal first. Uh, very important to inspect this region and also check for malformations. Previous surgeries or vascular malformations or uh, traumatic injuries or inflammatory processes. Um, after doing this, we should again check the posterior surface of the uh, auricle and also check for the mastoid regions. We can uh, do some palpation or pulling on the uh, ear canal if uh, it uh, causes pain and it can be the sign of infection such as external otitis or knocking on the mastoid process causing pain would uh, suggest uh, a possibility of mastoiditis. Before introducing the ear canal, again, we should check the entrance of the uh, ear canal and to check for lesions here, such as folliculitis. Uh, also, we should uh, pull up and backwards the ear uh, canal and check uh, the uh, external ear for fungal infections or vax or, or we can visualize cholestatoma or effusion in the middle ear or different types of uh, tympanic membrane uh, abnormalities such as perforation. We also can ask the patient to perform a valsalva insufflation in order to check 
the function of the eustachian tube, we should ask the patient to do an insufflation by blocking the nose and we should see uh, the movement of the tympanic membrane, which would suggest the permeability of the eustachian tube. Uh, we can also ask the patient to perform a Toynbee test, which is the same thing. We can also check the patency of the eustachian tube by asking the patient to block the nose and uh, swallow. Um, this would be the Toynbee test. Thank you for your attention.